Hi everyone, you're with Sonia from Angel Light Healing. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And today I'm going to give you a live card reading. It is a general card reading. Um, so this may um, affect uh, many areas of your life, but I have included a romance um, angel card here as well for you today. So this reading can also pertain to love. So if you're after a personal uh, card reading. I am offering these for twenty dollars at the moment. Um, so this offer um, won't last too long, but I'll keep it going because I have been getting a lot of requests for personal readings, and they are via email. So if you're after a reading, send me an email: Angel Light Healing, Angel, and it's L Y T E Healing at Outlook dot com. So. Um, let's get started with this card reading. So if you're watching this video, um, some or all of these messages can pertain to you as well. So we'll get started with the first card, which is from the um, mermaids and dolphins. So we'll start with that one. Okay, make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. Okay, so with the angels uh, coming into play here, they're saying to you that Perhaps there is something that you have been contemplating, um, you've been procrastinating on, is are you feeling stuck at the moment? Okay, so there's a lot of green in this card. As you can see, the water is green. And what that actually represents is Archangel Raphael, who is the Archangel of Healing. So perhaps you, you are in need of a healing at the moment. As you uh, know, I am an intuitive healer. So um, come and see me if you are needing of a healing. Um, perhaps you need to make an important decision for yourself, uh, for your family, or for your children. Um, what they're saying to you here, it's really important that you do trust your gut. Your gut is your intuition, okay? So trust what you're feeling um, because it is on point. With our thoughts, they can um, confuse us and, um, you know, Add definitely some confusion to the situation. So always go with that initial feeling that you get. Now, this decision can be related to a relationship, a um, promotion, a career change, um, buying property, buying a car. So whatever decision this is, it sounds like it's a um, an important one. So please listen to what your body's telling you before you proceed, before you go ahead. And also ask the angels to give you clear signs and messages and you will receive these. So angels can't interfere with free will. You need to ask their help, okay? So there is a cloud here as well. Um, so clouds can also represent confusion. Okay, so perhaps you are a little confused at the moment, but you won't be for long because you will come to a decision and it will be the right one for you and those involved. Okay, so that's the first card. Now, the second card, you've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it. Okay, so it does follow on from making a decision. The power is in your hands, guys. So they're saying that you are a powerful being, okay? And you have the ability to make the decisions that you need to in order to increase that power um, within your being, okay? So please don't hold back. Um, perhaps you've been concerned about speaking your truth. It's really important that you do speak up and say what you're feeling. Um, that way you are being heard. Perhaps you haven't been heard lately. Um, but as you can see, she's balancing on a tightrope. So this can also represent you balancing or trying to balance, you know, your, your thoughts and, and your heart. So it's like, which way do I go? You know, I need to make a decision. Um, but the power is in your hands. You have the power to make that decision that will benefit you and moving forward as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of butterflies in this card. Butterflies represent change and transformation. So there is change coming, um, but it is up to you. Okay, um, we'll go to the next card. Let's have a look at the next card. Summer. Everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. Okay, so perhaps once you make this decision and you get your power back, you'll start to 
um, fully blossom in, in summer and you'll see how all your hard work and all your efforts have paid off. Okay, so the angels are saying in this card that your prayers have been heard. So really pay to those, um, pay attention to those signs that surround you right now. The signs can come in many forms and symbols such as feathers, rainbows, music, whatever it is that you relate to. Ask the angels to give you the signs to confirm that you know you're making the right decision moving forward and that um, you have the support which you do because the power is in your hands. The angels are giving you this power to make the choices that will benefit you in your highest good. And I feel like in summer, so for us here in Australia, that is December, um, it may seem like a long way away, but actually it's not. The year's going pretty fast. So in four months, okay, with this reading, they're saying that everything you've asked for will become yours. All right, so that's really, really positive. And you have wings, so they want you to fly. Okay, they want you to prosper, they want you to fly and get your power back. Now, the next card from the unicorns is share. When you share, everyone feels happy. Okay, see this unicorn here, beautiful white unicorn. That represents um, peace and freedom. Okay, so they want you to feel free. Um, and they want you to feel at peace. This can represent you having that peace of mind. So with that decision that you're going to make, you know, this will give you the peace of mind that you need and the power you need. Okay, moving forward. And summertime is when you'll probably feel... Um, you'll feel free. Now, with this card, there's a lot of roses surrounding this unicorn. So for me, it's saying that this could definitely relate for some of you um, to a relationship. And this is about you being confident, secure within yourself and within your relationship. So this is about a love relationship. It's about a soulmate relationship, okay? Um, but it's really important that you nurture yourself and you do take care of yourself. And don't be hard on yourself either because, um, you know, being hard on yourself will cause blockages with you moving forward. So it's really important. Um, and what they're saying here is sharing. So you've heard the term sharing is caring. This is about you sharing your gifts with others, sharing your love with others, sharing your knowledge with others. So, um, yeah, and, you know, you do get back as well, even if, when you don't ask for it. Um, karma works in mysterious ways. So this is all about love, um, loving yourself and love coming into your life as well. So the unicorn can also represent creativity. Okay, so perhaps um, the decision that you're making and, you know, you standing in your power is about, you know, your creative side, delving into that. So creating something for yourself, whether that is creating a new business or, you know, creating um, a new loving home or a happy environment. Creation can be in many shapes and forms. It can be artistic as well. So creating um, a beautiful masterpiece or, you know, writing a book, um, whatever it is, it's definitely um, in the cards today. So there's that as well. Now, I'll just finish with the last card, which is from the romance. And I believe this reading for some of you definitely has to do with a love relationship. Okay, so it's about, you know, you making your decision, which way do I go moving forward with this person um, or with the loved ones that surround me? Yes, I need to get my power back. I need to speak my truth. Perhaps summertime is when you'll start to see things grow and shine and it's about sharing your love too. So the last one is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so that's a beautiful card there too. There she is smelling the roses. So this is about you perhaps stopping and taking your time and smelling the roses. But what they're saying with this card is that there is definitely an attraction between you and this person. Okay, so um, don't question that um, this decision that you make around this person will be the right one. Okay, and summertime is probably when you'll see things um, fully growing and blooming. So what they're saying here is you do attract romantic love. Okay, so when you come from a place of love, like I said with a sharing card, when you come from a place of love, you do attract that into your life. And perhaps that's something that you're wanting more of. You're wanting more of a harmonious, loving, 
relationship where you are both equal um, or you're wanting to attract you know more love within your life or you know love to surround your family unconditional love but it starts with you loving yourself unconditionally okay again don't be hard on yourself be kind be gentle and be patient with yourself everything happens in divine timing see how she stopped here to smell the roses well there is no such thing as time in the, in the universe um, even though us humans uh, you know, can become impatient and we want things straight away. Everything is working out for your divine purpose. Okay, so definitely don't question it. There is an attraction for those of you who are questioning perhaps a romantic relationship. Definitely attraction, but you need to make a decision. Okay, because the power is in your hands. All right, so that's your card reading for today. Thank you so much for tuning in for those of you that have joined. I appreciate your support. If you have any comments, um, please comment below any feedback. I welcome all feedback. Um, and if you are again after a personal email reading, I do offer those. They're only $20 at the moment. Okay. And uh, hi, Amanda. And um, yes, so email me at angellighthealing, L-Y-T-E at outlook.com. If you're after a healing, get in contact with me as well, but sending you all many angel blessings and wishing you all a happy Monday. Okay, guys, I'll tune in again tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye.